All right, as promised, here's the Vivor MIG 270A. It's a three-in-one welder. It's got MIG, lift TIG, and stick functions. Got it all hooked up. We built this welding cart using this welder, mostly out of flux wire and stick. But here we got the gas hookups. Now, with the TIG portion, it's a lift TIG, so the regulator is actually tied into the TIG torch, and it doesn't go through the welder. But the MIG does go through the welder. And a really nice setup. If you're going to use the flux with uh, without gas, the MIG with gas, you got to get different wire, the stick and the TIG. So that's kind of nice. Now, I've been using this machine for about a week, and uh, we have amazing results with it. Down there's all my other sticks for uh, stick welding. Got some cool extra features. So this is my coworker, Brian. I'm helping. We want him to show how the lift TIG works. Right now he's going to try a little bit of the MIG. We got it all set up for the MIG. Got to put the polarity on the gas and then the, um, the ground on the no gas. And we have a whole bunch of pieces of different metal. We got thin sheet, about 18 gauge. I think that's 16. Maybe that's 20. Some really flat stock, eighth inch. I think it's eighth and three sixteenths. Some thin wall tube, thicker tube, giant tube solid and you really want to use the stick welder but i didn't let brian do the stick welding so today i'm going to let him do the stick welding and everything else we're going to make a cool little video out of it and show you that this machine for the price is a fantastic beginner friendly welder actually i'd even consider it semi-advanced welder because this thing's cool all right what do you want to do uh, i'm just going to start st stacking and welding i guess <laughs> i love it my favorite feature is that red button above his uh, index finger. That's an auto feed function. So you don't have to push the MIG gun when you're feeding the wire through. Really cool. I love it. Yeah. Now how's that? Pick it up by the, uh, the sheet metal sooner. I love it. I think I got the voltage and the, the wire speed pretty much dialed in. Dialed in for that. Yeah, the voltage we got didn't burn, didn't burn through the sheet and we got full penetration through the sheet metal. Dang. But it's nice and solid anyway. So, uh, we'll stick this right here. Why not? Now, if you can use a hot glue gun, you could totally mig. Oh dang. Beautiful. I'm gonna pick it up by that. That's awesome. I only had that about half half the uh, width of the th wall thickness there, so. I think it's pretty good. All right, wanna swap out to stick? I've never done stick before, so yeah, let's do this. All right, so what kind of rod we using? Uh, 6011. I think it's an eighth inch rod, sweet. All right. I say just try and weld some of the stuff you already got together. Yeah. Safety first, kids. And definitely don't turn it on with the stick touching the table because it's going to off. <laughs> Make sure you... Stick. You got to change the button. I already did. Perfect. It's up top for stick welding. I say I'll, try. I'll go 18 volts and see where that leads me. Well, I like it. All right. So kind of strike it like a match almost? Yeah, but it was very light. I mean, you're going to have problems, so let's just uh, see what happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like, kind of figure I'm going to have watch, problems. Watch, you're going to get it first time. time. <laughs> Beginner's luck. <laughs> you're almost there. Oops. Ah. There we go. Ah. Yeah, see, now you just got to remember to bring the thing down. As you're welding. Okay. It's like feeding it like a TIG. Okay, yeah, I can see. All right. I'll keep going. Okay, let's give this a try. Don't worry, we got the door open and the fan going. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, it's not pretty, but... No. Not pretty at all, but hey, my first time stick welding. Stick welding's more for really dirty stuff or outdoor stuff when you don't have gas. Um, this thing's awesome. Keep going, weld anything else you want. I like the stick. The well, stick right. was the reason I got this machine. Let me try here. Try this solid block on here. Let me see if I can get it here. Come on, Bessie. Oops. Ah. Oh, 
Ah, I'm not feeding it in fast enough. Yep. God damn it. Shit, I'm stuck to that solid block. I know. Keep, just try and rip it off. I don't go. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Try it again. That didn't do nothing. Yeah, I think for that, you might have to really go up on voltage. You think so? Yeah. All right. Say like crank it. All right, I'll go up to 22 volts. Let's try that. Mm hmm. Now, don't judge us. We're not stick welders. This is Brian's first time. This would be like my third or fourth, but I wanted to give Brian all the glory today. It's ugly, but it's it's on. Yeah. Somebody had told me that they used to put the uh, sticks in a convection oven at 150 for about 10 minutes, and that became easier to start. So I'm not sure if that's true. Hopefully somebody can light me on that, but I thought it was kind of a cool, cool thought. Definitely not my favorite, but... Oh, you don't like, the, oh, the stick was my favorite. I, that, that was, I love it. I, think I mean. I, I, I shake too much for that. Yeah. So with a regular TIG machine, you get your tungsten, and it'd either be a little switch here on, on the handle, or that, that shit. foot pedal that strikes the arc. With the foot pedal and with some of the little hand buttons, you can control how much power full bore obviously as to whatever your machine is set to but then you can back off of it on the pedal whereas the lift tig once it's struck it's full bore all the way now with the lift tig no pedal no no little hand button on the handle here it's just this gas knob which on the the regulator is on the tank is on gas coming through you set your pressure to however much you want for whatever your application is and then you go for it Now he says you just get as close as possible just to get that arc, and that's how the arc gets started. And you just feed the wire like normal. All right, so on the left is the TIG, on the right was the MIG. Probably had to lower the wire speed on the MIG, but that TIG is really nice. It's gonna be all messed up, but... We're not using great metal right now. It's just random pieces of junk. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go for it. Yeah, I got I got the tungsten on it. No, I got it I got it set up voltage too high for 16 gauge. Oh. Now we'll see if I can fill that without it falling through. A nice little fort you made. Now we usually do a hammer test for welding, but I want Brian to pick it up by the sheet metal. Pick it up, drop it on the floor over here. Hang on, ready? Three, two, one. Pick it up now. Dang. It's still holding together. <laughs> do it again. Oh wow, that didn't even, no, that's not doing anything. One more, ready? Wow, you're just bending the metal. The welds are still good. Show me those welds. My, even my crappy stick weld still in there, holding. still holding. So that's it for the Vivor MiG 270. If you want to get yourself a good beginner-friendly unit, this is the one.